Are you ready to upgrade your free radio automation software to include voice tracking, remote studio and advanced scheduling? This video is sponsored by Play It Software. If you've been wondering what the paid version gives you, well, thanks to Play It Software, we can see what you get and how it works. A big thank you to Play It Software for providing us with a full paid for version of Play It Live. We can now try out the super powerful features that turn the great experience of Play It Live into the spectacular professional sound of full automation plus features like remote studio giving you the ability to control your station from anywhere, voice tracking to sound super slick and advanced scheduling modes for music and advert scheduling. Let's first look at the most fun part, I think, which is voice tracking. This allows you to have pre-recorded voice tracks placed between two songs or a program section like a news or sports section and then back into a song like this. Nefix, as you fade away on your favorite community radio station, in about 10 minutes' time, we've got our classic feature, new and old, then and now. And you can also call us if you'd like to send out a message. Competition coming up shortly. They tell me that I'm never gonna make to do voice tracking, use the remote voice track local IP address with a username and password in a web browser. You will need to configure voice tracks within clocks and schedule those clocks so that we know where the voice tracks are going to go. For the full training video on how to use the clocks, click the link in the description. But for now, let me show you how the voice tracking works on the Play It Live app. For normal voice tracking, you would simply drag and drop a voice track into the playlist or by clicking this button called Voice Track. But for full voice tracking, you need to log into the remote page and select what you want to do. In this case, voice tracking. You can also find the external URL via the Help Me Set Up External Access section. You can select from the available time slots to place your recordings into, select the block and then add voice track slots by clicking here or dragging and dropping them into the mini playlist. Then click the record button to record your link. The length is a guide used by the scheduler to determine how much time to leave, but you can record whatever length you like. Or you can click the edit pencil to record while you listen to the music before you speak. Click the record button and record your link. Click Next to play the next song. Click Stop to stop the recording. Now importantly, you need to have separate sound cards or virtual sound cables to make sure that you can pre-listen to what you are doing without affecting the sound that you are broadcasting. That is if you are recording your links on the same PC you are broadcasting from. On a different PC, you don't need an extra sound card like when you record remotely. You must also set up your audio input for your microphone and output to pre-listen by clicking here and then selecting the right channels for your audio outputs and input. Now with your voice track recorded, you can adjust the placement of your voice links to give you that professional sound of going from one song to another, talking across the outro of the last song and right up to the vocals of the next song. Click save when you are happy with your links. Your voice tracks are now recorded and inserted into the show hour block to play automatically. Before we move on to more of these cool features, you can get 10% off of your upgrade of Play It Live to the paid version by clicking the link in the description below. This is an affiliate link, so I get a small commission for it as well if you use the link. So it's a great way to support my channel and get yourself a nice discount. Now let's look at the remote studio feature. This allows you to run the radio station from anywhere in the world. You can even have multiple presenters who can log in at specific times and run their shows from anywhere in the world. This means you can have a station of presenters working from home or anywhere they like. They can control the Play It Live as if it was on their own computer. Remote Studio supports Chrome-based browsers like Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge, etc. and works on any operating system with a Chrome browser. Once you're in the web browser, log in with your Play It Live username and password. Once you are logged in, you'll be prompted to allow access to your microphone, so click on Allow, and then the web browser will establish a real-time connection with Play It Live. 
Remote Studio is a browser interface which mirrors the main interface that you'll see on Play It Live. You can perform all the normal tasks like dragging and dropping tracks and reordering the playout log and even editing segues. Remote presenters can also go live with Play It Live by clicking the Start Live audio button. Once live, the audio from the studio can be heard and there's an option to add your microphone to the mix. The on mute button turns your microphone on and the talk button which reduces the studio audio levels. The talk button only becomes active when your microphone is unmuted. If you want to talk over the music at the end of the song, you can use the duck button. This lowers the studio audio, allowing you to speak over it at a sensible level which you can set. You can also adjust the speed of the ducking. So you can do a link like this. Patrick Patrickios and running out on your favorite community radio station right now, Nefex. This is not a Christmas song. Play It Live Remote Studio also allows for multiple presenters to connect simultaneously for co-hosting or for a show handover. Presenters can communicate with each other off-air using the talkback feature. When multiple presenters are connected, click the walkie-talkie icon when your microphone is muted to send your microphone to other presenters. Users can also be configured to go live only at specific times during the week, but they can log in at any time to plan their shows. There are so many other features you can see in the full training video, link in the description. To really run your station professionally, you need the advanced scheduling module, which comes included with the premium package. This is the kind of thing you can do when you use advanced scheduling. Life's full of surprises, but protecting your family, it's a necessity. Craving bold flavor without the weight. Sing. Your perfect meal is ready when you are. You're listening to DJ Radio 98.7. With the advanced scheduling module, you can set up all your adverts, promos, pre-made show segments and music so you don't have to worry about a presenter doing it. That means whether you are having presenters for all your shows or just you running things on your own, Play It Live can make sure your adverts play at the right time and that all the pre-recorded segments play when they need to too. Click on the Manage button here and set up your advert blocks here. Once you have your ad blocks made, set up what your campaign timing is. For example, if it's to play for a month, then set up the start date and end date as well as how many times it should play. There are even more features included in the advanced scheduling module to control when adverts should play and not play and day part separation and auto adjust but I won't be able to cover all of that in this video, so click the links in the description to see the official training videos for these features. For the advanced scheduling, you can find these under Manage and then Advert Campaigns, Advert Log and Advert Play Report. Here are advert campaigns from various companies who want to advertise. An advert campaign contains one or more advert tracks which are played at different times of the day depending on how you configure them and you can select a category to prevent other adverts in the same category from being played together in the same block, so for example, insurance. To add an advert to this advert campaign, click on Add New and now select the audio for this and the system automatically works out the duration for this advert, which is 30 seconds. The scheduler needs to make up exactly a minute or exactly two minutes of advert audio for your advert block. By default, it will select every day and every hour to play this advert, but you can change this simply by selecting a cell, double clicking and entering a new number so you can play this advert twice in this hour, for example. You can easily just update these values for the days and hours of the week. The maximum number of plays is the maximum number of plays this advert will have during this campaign. So this 720 was calculated based on the start and end date of the campaign and the number of plays which was every day and every hour. We can recalculate this down to 129, which means this advert will only be played this number of times throughout the whole of the campaign for this number of plays. So on average, this will be calculated correctly. Click OK. You then add this advert to this advert campaign, so this will allow this advert to be played during the start and end date. 
You can set up your advert blocks within the playout log and the clocks to allow the adverts to be played. This allows you to add a fixed time marker at the top of the hour, for example. The playout log and the advert log are completely separate so that whenever you're scheduling music, you're not interfering with your adverts. And whenever you're scheduling adverts, you're not interfering with your music. You can set up all the parameters of your advert block, including maximum length and maximum number of ads per block. So grab your 10% discount in the description below and have your Play It Live lifted to a new level of awesome with these amazing and powerful features. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, why not click on one of these videos to learn more about radio broadcasting software and radio presenting.